the magnetic torque always has a tendency to bring this vector m parallel to b magnetic torque ka direction hamesha aisa hota hai ki wo vector m ko ghuma ke b ki taraf le jaye hello students today again we will solve a question on magnetic field only uh, let us look at this question it is a simple question which can be solved in couple of minutes but again it requires a bit of understanding of rotational motion also so let us have look at our question i think many of you might have solved this question earlier also in that case also i would like you to watch this video till the end it is going to be a short video and maybe you will learn a couple of things it is not a new question at all it is available everywhere in almost every book this is an inclined plane and on this inclined plane there is a sphere this white colored thing is a sphere of mass m and radius r now on the equator of this sphere there is a coil it is having one turn only let us assume that it is having a single turn it is a coil having single turn so you have if you have a sphere you have wound a single turn coil along its equator that means the larger circle and the plane of the coil is parallel to the plane of this inclined surface repeat the plane of the coil is parallel to the plane of the inclined surface right and then there is a magnetic field vertically upward magnetic field uniform magnetic field in the entire space now this coil is given a current i this coil is given a current i i will not tell you the direction of the current you need to figure out the direction of the current but this coil blue colored coil is given a current i and the sphere is released and we find that the sphere remains in equilibrium on the inclined plane the sphere remains in equilibrium on the inclined plane we have to find the value of current i and you also need to tell me what is the direction of the current in this coil whether it is this way or this way so the sphere having mass m and radius r it is placed on an inclined surface there is a vertically upward magnetic field out here and when i supply a current i to this coil the sphere remains in equilibrium on the inclined plane what is the value of current i that is your question please pause the video and give it a try well students uh, forgetting about the current and magnetic field just forget about the current and magnetic field for a moment this sphere can never remain in equilibrium on this kind of incline all of you understand that there is a force there is a component of weight force mg sin theta which will try to run this sphere and if we think that the friction force is same as mg sin theta let us for a moment think that friction force is same as mg sin theta and so that net force on this ball is zero if that is the case if that is the case let us assume that that is the case for a moment in that particular case friction is equal to mg sin theta that is fine but what about the torque about the center of the sphere that is being produced by the friction the other forces are normal reaction which passes from this point and then the other component of mg mg cos theta which also passes from this point so the normal reaction and mg both are passing through this point they do not produce any torque about the center but this friction force in this diagram is going to produce a torque like this about this point so this counter clockwise torque will spin the sphere so if we assume that friction balances mg sin theta then what will happen to the torque produced by the friction that means there will be some angular acceleration which means the sphere cannot remain in equilibrium in this type of situation but the question here says that is sphere is in equilibrium so the magnetic fold force uh, the magnetic field and current has got something to do with it i hope all of you know that in a uniform magnetic field if you place a current carrying coil it does not experience any force if you place a current carrying coil in a magnetic field it does not experience any force but it does experience a torque it may experience a torque so what we see is uh, if there is a magnetic field and there is a current in this coil the interaction of magnetic field and current is not going to produce any force 
but it may produce a torque. So, that torque needs to balance the torque due to this friction force, is not it? This friction force is trying to rotate the sphere about this axis, this pen is the axis. So, this torque is trying to rotate the sphere about this axis in counterclockwise sense in this particular diagram. So, the magnetic torque on the coil, magnetic torque on this coil must be in opposite direction and of same magnitude. The magnetic force is 0. So, for equilibrium mg sin theta must be equal to f that is beyond doubt. But the second thing, what about the torque due to friction? It will get balanced by the magnetic torque. So, the direction of current in this coil should be such that torque produced due to magnetic field is in this sense that is in clockwise sense. So, how can that happen? If you consider, if you consider this uh, current to be in this sense, the question has said that plane of the coil is parallel to the inclined surface. So, the magnetic dipole moment of this coil in this particular case, magnetic dipole moment m or mu whatever you might be writing, magnetic dipole moment of the coil which has magnitude of area of the coil into current. It has got single turn only. If the coil has more n number of turns, then you need to multiply this by n. This quantity is known as magnetic dipole moment of the coil. It is a vector quantity. It is perpendicular to plane of the coil and the proper direction is given by right hand rule. If you curl your right hand fingers in the sense of the current, the thumb points in the direction of magnetic dipole moment. So, if this is the sense of current which I have shown here, then the torque due to magnetic field will be such that it will be able to oppose the friction torque. Can you see that? Because the torque is given by m cross b. The magnetic torque is given by m cross b, m cross b. The angle between m and b you can easily figure out is theta. So, the magnitude of magnetic torque will be m b sin theta that is one thing that is one thing, but what about the direction? The direction of magnetic torque is given by right hand rule m cross b it is inward. The torque vector is inward, here the torque due to friction torque vector is outward and here the torque vector is inward. In rather simple language, I can say that the magnetic torque always has a tendency to bring this vector m parallel to b. Magnetic torque ka direction hamesa aisa hota hai vector m ko ghuma ke b ki taraf le jaye. To yahan pe jo magnetic torque aayega wo koshish karega is ball ko aise ghumane ki, coil ko aise ghumane ki, jisse ki coil ki orientation kuch aisi ho jaye. Aur wo m jo hai b ke parallel aa jaye. To naturally aap dekh sakte ho ki isme jo ethan hai, jo torque hai, magnetic torque, wo clockwise direction mein. To equilibrium ke liye jaruri hai ki ye friction force mg sin theta ko balance kar de. ये तो है ही फ्रिक्शन फोर्स की वैल्यू mg sin थीटा होनी चाहिए और साथ में जो फ्रिक्शन का टॉर्क है उसको मैग्नेटिक टॉर्क बैलेंस कर दे तो भाई जो मैग्नेटिक टॉर्क है उसकी वैल्यू कितनी है mb sin थीटा m इज मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल मोमेंट सो आई एम डायरेक्टली राइटिंग पाई r स्क्वायर i मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल मोमेंट इनटू b इनटू sin थीटा दिस इज मैग्नेटिक टॉर्क एंड इट शुड बी इक्वल टू टॉर्क ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन so, what is friction force? Mg sin theta. And what is torque due to friction? F into R. F into this R. So, friction force into R. This is the magnetic torque. Just simplify this to get the value of I and this is your answer. Sin theta, sin theta cancels out and you will get a nice answer as value of I. I hope all of you have understood this question and this was important to remind you that magnetic, in magnetic field, uniform magnetic field, a coil will not experience any force, but it will experience torque and the direction of torque vector is such that it will always try to bring this magnetic dipole moment vector m parallel to vector b. If you understand these two things, uh, I hope you understand this particular question. So, students see you in the next video. Goodbye.